I'm Fast Lawyer, Mazarkalus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to review and play, well not really play, Capcom Go. Capcom Go is a 3D environment with a featured 180 3D movie. It's 26 minutes long. It's really a educational movie. It's about the Apollo landing on the moon. Or actually Apollo landings, I guess. If, if Or the, uh, I guess the best way to put it is the mission to land on the moon. And w the history and the current state of the space program. And I really enjoyed the 26 minute long 180 degree VR experience. Uh, I saw the trailer. The trailer is free. And not, I think you can also play around with this stuff, and I'll show that in a little bit. After I saw the trailer, though, I absolutely had to buy the full experience. Uh, I paid $5, and I highly recommend the movie if you're interested in space, in history, in science. This is a really great experience. I, the, the visuals are, are great. I won't say they're the best visuals I've ever seen in VR as far as, you know, uh, cinematic experiences in VR. It's not the best I've ever seen, but it's really good, really high quality, and it's an excellent, excellent film. It's educational focus, so beware of that. It's not 100% entertainment. I found it entertaining, but I, it's not for everyone. You do have to have an interest either in history or in science or space. Let's go ahead and play around a little this bit. This console controls the star ball for a beautiful view of the night sky. Don't forget to try the music player and laser show. Okay, so let's go ahead and rotate this. So as you're watching the film, you're in this uh, auditorium that rotates around and you get different viewpoints of what you're watching in, in the... 180 film so it, it it's really a great job it's something i've never seen before so this is something really new and exciting for vr that's why i highly recommend this film and just imagine that you're watching this film and yeah you do move around for certain parts and it's done in a really tasteful manner i don't think you'll get nausea so i don't i wouldn't worry about that but it's just a great experience it really puts you up close uh the the 180 quality the the cinematic quality is really good and yeah i highly recommend it now let's go ahead and turn on some of this stuff here and i'm sorry the controls for this are not exactly the best and i think you can ah we can go reverse <laughs> and let's go ahead and put the last thing on oh, here we go and it says something about putting the music on oh okay i see Pretty cool. This console controls an experimental telescope. Try placing an object on the glowing pad. Let's turn that off. Okay. So let's go ahead and put the, the moon lander up here. The lunar module is the only part of the Apollo craft to land on the moon. The lower half of these spacecraft can still be found on the surface of the moon today. Okay, so let's put the the buggy, the moon buggy. The lunar rover is a two-person electric vehicle included on the Apollo 15, 16, and 17 missions. It folds up like origami to fit in, and the batteries are cooled with beeswax. Okay, so I don't want to make this review too long. I highly recommend this. I bought it for $5 and I feel like I got my money's worth. I just wish I had more money. And if, if, if I had a lot of money, if I had a billion dollars, I would get this for every high school kid in America to watch, to, to give them hope, to give them inspiration. We need more people who want to be astronauts. And yeah, this, this really pumps me up. I, I, I'm, I guess, too old now to be thinking about being an astronaut, but it definitely gets me excited about our space program and where it's going in, in the future. And in these dark times, 
I don't want to get too political, but it's really good that we have some hope for the future. And yeah, this is really exciting. I highly recommend it. I'm Fast Lawyer. Buy this. Highly recommend it. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.